Hey guys, I'm back again with a brand new video for you all, and this time I brought you an ABA style team. I'm running ABA Flyer with Mantine in the lead and Quacksire and Alteria at the back. This is a very interesting team and I really had fun using it in the Jungle Cup. I really hope you'll enjoy this video and if you like my contents, please do subscribe to my channel. And if you want your battle videos to be shortcasted in the channel, the link is in the description. Please send me your videos. So, let's start the video. So moving on to the battles here, this is a very positive lead for us, Mantine against the Talonflame and they're not swapping out. So yeah, I just throw the water pulse as soon as I get there and they're not like uh, they are in their uh, Brave Bird or something. Now they didn't shield. So I was guessing like they are trying to throw the Brave Bird and then bail. And yep, I guessed it correctly. That was the Brave Bird and we take them out but we had to invest one shield there so they come in with their pelipper and then I instantly swap into my quagsire before they reach to their seed bomb I throw my stone edge we were like a couple of mud shots ahead on energy against this trevenant now they are farming more than the seed bomb so yeah I happily uh, I'm happy to take like uh, let my quagsire go so yeah come in with uh, mantin again yeah, they've got their pelipper so the play here is i'm ready to tank one shadow ball and then uh, threaten the shield with ice beam and yeah threaten the shield with ice beam let's see if they decide to shield or not now okay okay so they decide to shield now i have one shield i make a big mistake there letting them farm me down i thought i would reach to a move there but i was unable to reach to the move now they Reach to the shadow ball. Now I invest a shield in the shadow ball. <laughs> now Pelipper will throw the hurricane at us. I make a couple of mistakes there. But this happens. Make mistakes and we learn. Now fortunately we will eat the hurricane and but the thing is one moon blast will take them out. One moon blast will take them out and they will not reach to even a seed bomb. So yeah, that's a GG. Even though we make some mistakes. We Mash win there. So this is a Quagsire lead. And let's see. Uh, we can tank one Stone Age. And then, yeah, this Water Pulse is going to do like very good amount of damage against them. Uh, we can tank one Stone Age. And I, like uh, we let the first one go through. Now, charge our Water Pulse here. I believe they farmed up to 8 mod shots now. Now they'll reach to like uh, second Stone Age in 5 mod shots. So, uh, okay, they try to bait us. They try to bait us with Aqua Tail, and we reach with the move there. Let's see if it's a shield or not. Now, yeah, they sh they are shielding, and they reach with the Aqua Tail. Now, even this Aqua Tail won't KO us because of the bulk of our man team. Look at that. Okay, we are in a shield advantage here. Now, here's the play. Here's a very very interesting play that I make. I tank their multiple aqua tails, they will reach to multiple aqua tails and farm them completely down and I will gain a lot of lot of energy. So yeah, this is aqua tail number two, they will not reach to number three, so yeah. And they've got an Obama snow at the back and our Altera cannot see this thing. So and they, do, they don't shield it, so I try to farm them completely down, but yeah, they reach to their weather ball. So let's see if I throw the move here or not. And yes, I found them down. And it was a Charizard at the back. Now I swap into my Alteria, banking one Stone Age in my Quagsire. So I can tank one Dragon Claw. So I let the first one go. So yeah, uh, I press the Sky Attack maybe there. Yeah, I will shield this Dragon Claw definitely. This will knock us out. If we didn't shield that. Now this guy attack is definitely gonna get a shield here. Now here's the play for them. They will need to reach to double dra dragon claws to want to take this Altaria out, want to take Quagsire out, but they will not reach because of the dragon bread damage. And yeah, we will throw this Stone Age, which will overkill this Charizard to take the victory. So GG's there. And another game. Okay, so. No, not another game. Okay, the videos are a little bit misaligned. I'm sorry for that. Well, actually, I went 3-2 in this set. Uh, and I'm showcasing one of my set. So, uh, it is a 
positive, but it is 3 2. So it's a uh, whisk cash lead, and they are not swapping. So, Mud Boy against a flyer. That two against a water flyer. They're not swapping. So, I'm already guessing that they might be ABA, a weak to flying. That is why they might uh, they are not swapping. So yeah, they throw the skull here. Now in my mind, I was thinking that they might run Blizzard. So let's see. They are farming a lot of energy here, and they throw the Blizzard. But <laughs> even the Blizzard doesn't do that much to bulky Mantine. And yeah, we take this Wishcast out. We are already in our Reds. Let's see what they got at the back. It's a Skarmory. Now I was guessing that they are weak to Flyer at the back. They are ABA weak to flyer, so I'm keeping my Altaria, that is why I'm not swapping out here. Because I'll reach two water pulse and then come in with my Quagsire to tank all their energy, all their moves. And I will still threaten them a shield with Stone Edge. Uh, at this moment we are like even in shields. So yeah, this is a Stone Edge and this will take them out since they threw the Brave Bird. Brave Bird, yeah, Quaxire is a bulky Pokemon. It took one Brave Bird and one Sky Attack. So yeah, they're still not swapping out now. I was 100% sure that they are weak to Fire ABA. Now, I'm definitely shielding this. There's a Brave Bird. We shield that correctly and it was a Quaxire at the back. So we can tank one Stone Edge and we still got one shield. So this is looking good for us. We just, okay, we land the Moonblast as well. They let the first move go through and it was a moon blast. They throw the stone edge, we shield it and we can tank another one and just don't throw the energy at them. Yeah, don't I mean not energy, the charge move. Don't throw the charge move at them. We can tank that and they cannot even reach through the mud bomb or the aqua tail. And yeah, we take the victory there. So GG's and another game. This is a Steelix lead, which is a fine lead for us. Water Pulse will do a lot of damage against this Steelix and they are Shadow on top of that. So, okay, they might be running Breaking Swipe and Psychic Bang. Since they threw the Breaking Swipe there, I'm throwing this Water Pulse. That did a lot of damage there. Before we reach to another move, they reach to their Breaking Swipe. And which debuffed our attack. So yeah, if they decide to shield here, then I will have to take an Earthquake maybe because they are farming a lot of energy. Now one more Dragon Tail would be enough for the Earthquake, I guess. Okay, okay, now they've got like Earthquake for sure. So let's see. Okay, that is an Earthquake and we unfortunately had to tank that. Now they've got their own Altaria at the back with full the Stone Edge. Let's see if they decide to shield it or not. They're shielded, and they're two shields down. I come in with my Altaria, I don't let them farm it down, but they're not swapping. Now, here's the okay, so they try to catch, I guess, and it's a lantern at the back. So, slight misplay by me in this game uh, from the early stage. Yeah, a little bit of lag there. I throw the Moonblast, this will do a fine bit of damage, some neutral damage, unlike Sky Attack, that's which is resisted. So the thing is, as you can see the IVs on the screen on my Altaria, it's 1 on attack and 14, 11. So more chances I'll lose the CMP, so they win the CMP. And yeah, we surrender it. This match came down to the CMP tie, so GG's. Another battle, it's a uh, Furthorn lead. And I go for the Ice Beam. This will do like 35% of the damage. Not exactly, but like 35% of damage, yes. And plus the winging attacks bring them to half health. So I'm shielding because they might have Thunder. They might be running Thunder and they instead threw the Power Whip. Now this might be the Thunder, but I let it go because I don't want to invest two shields this early in the game. So we are one shield down and we lose the switch, we lose the shield advantage, this is not looking good for us. I can tank one thunder and farm them all the way down because even though Altaria is flying, it's also dragon, so it's neutral, the electric moves. 
they come in with their Vigoroth and I throw the Moon Blast. I was able to land the Moon Blast and I tried to catch this uh, resisted move here. I tried to catch the Rock Slide in my Quagsire, but they outsmarted us. They threw the Body Slam there. It was unfortunate for us. And things are not looking good for us. Things are really, really not looking good for us. And I over farm here. And yeah, it's even got worse. So yeah. They take our Quagsire out and I come in with my Alteria. So they still got two Pokemons at the back. Uh, I mean two Pokemons and two shields. So it's a Talonflame and they try to catch the Sky Attack into their Ferrothorn. And this Talonflame has just one Incinerate, two Incinerate and I let them sneak one incinerate so that is really bad and silly play by me so yeah there's at this moment like it's already over for us so i surrender here <laughs> ggs and you cannot win them all right guys it was a positive set uh, three two so i wanted to share uh, my aba style aba flyer team with you guys i hope you like this video and if you like the content, please uh, leave a like, comment, and please do subscribe to the channel. Thank you, guys.